And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Steven has these really odd looking light blue shorts for this episode only, and it doesn't look that great on him at all. Also, this shot specifically makes them look like pants for some reason. I may be rich, but buying a boat would be going a bit overboard. Lapis Lazuli, nice to meet you. Great! I know you spent a really long time fused with Jasper at the bottom of the ocean, but you're not Malachite anymore, and water is a part of who you are. Yeesh, aren't we stereotyping Lapis just a bit? And why are you forcing her to do something that you want her to do, disregarding her feelings almost entirely? I thought the Crystal Gems whole shtick was going against what they were made to do and forging their own path, not sticking to what one person is coaxing them to do. We even named her Lil Lappy. In this shot, when Steven blinks, his eyelid isn't colored at all. Also, Lapis's mouth disappears in this frame. Finally get enough of that horn? What? I still like this gag, but the fact that Steven has this hearing problem for a grand total of two seconds before dropping it entirely is very strange writing. And there it is! You caught yourself a fish to eat! Something tells me that Steven would not be okay with eating an innocent fish. In Island Adventure, when eating fish was necessary to survive, he felt really, really shitty about it. So what changed, especially since he doesn't exactly need it to survive right now? Put something on it you know it wants, like a worm or a $20 bill. Why specifically a $20 bill? I'm pretty sure fish don't exactly understand the concept of an economy. Maybe I'm reading too far into a joke, but I feel like Greg wouldn't be this frivolous with his money even if he is rich. And so this joke is kind of forsaking that. Fishing! But the company you catch. Whoa! Okay, several things here. First of all, there is nothing in the water here that grabs this hook, even though we can clearly see any silhouettes that are close to the surface of the water. That's pretty weird. Secondly, Jasper stays surprisingly still when she does grab this hook, and also doesn't start yanking on it until a bit after she grabs it. Why doesn't she just immediately try to pull herself up? What, is she so enamored by the quality and pure lustrousness of the hook that she stares at it like Ganondorf or something? Thirdly, why exactly does Jasper have to board the ship via this fishing hook? It's shown later that she is perfectly capable of attacking the boat in order to board it, so why even bother doing this? Plus, by sinking the ship, she also harms or potentially kills who she thinks is Rose Quartz. So it's literally a win-win for her and she just doesn't take it. The line of the fishing rod snaps in this shot, but somehow in this shot it shows that the rod itself snapped too. How did that happen? Also, Lapis's gem is missing in this shot. And then, after coming back in this shot, it instead looks like a children's sticker. It's mostly advice on sun tanning and what crackers go with caviar. What crackers go with caviar? Water crackers. That's not it. I, I miss her. What? We refused for so long. I really, really like how this episode expands on the concept of fusions as a form of relationship. We've seen a whole spectrum of different fusions and what they represent, and we're going to continue to see even more. But this one is unique in that it represents an abusive relationship. That combined with how clearly traumatized Lapis is, and how quick she is to blame herself for different things that being Malachite made her think was her fault alone, then add on that Jasper in this episode is written to be similar to a part that gaslights someone into thinking they've changed, only to try to drag them right back into the same shitty situation, I'd honestly go so far as to say this is masterfully handled, and it's one of this season's high points in my opinion. However, throughout the entirety of this scene, the bottom part of Jasper's gem continuously changes colors from orange to purple. Some of it could maybe be chalked up to shading, but it happens no matter where she looks, so I'm just gonna call it a color error. This is between us! Wow, that shield sure did a lot of good. Why didn't he put up a bubble? In this situation, I think that would have been a lot more effective. I'll shatter you! Either Jasper's the slowest runner in the world, or they made that scene artificially long. Because there's no way Jasper didn't reach Steven when she had that much time. What? Happened. What the hell do you mean, what happened? How do you not see or hear any of that?
This is between us! <laughs>